talk about that ending. Agatha All Along Episode 5 released last night. We gotta talk about it. Spoiler warning, 3, 2, 1. The episode starts off with the crew continuing their path on the road and they find out those seven creepy witches are coming back after them. Did I just say seven? So! And in this process, I remember Agatha telling one of them saying that mercy is overrated. So it doesn't matter if you're on her team or not. She doesn't give a flipping buttocks about you. Now how are they gonna escape in the fastest way possible? Well, they get broke and fly away that look like so much fun once they get away from the witches they gotta continue their path on the road by entering into a new house and every time they enter into a new house their outfits change and I think a lot of us noticed that teens outfit in particular is hinting at something coming later in the episode and the challenge they gotta do in this house is play on the Ouija board now I think I've only played on the Ouija board once in my life when I was a kid and this episode does not convince me to want to play again and the first name they spell out is Mrs. Hart now I was thinking of Mr. Shart I think some other people were thinking that too and she's back but not in the way we thought but then the Ouija board spells out another thing death lady death uh, no they weren't referring to that and then the Ouija board just got a mind of its own and went crazy and then Agatha gets possessed oh my gosh and we find out that it's her mother that possessed her comes in a ghost form and when Alice trying to save Agatha from her mother Agatha ends up taking her powers and she dies I don't think Agatha did it on purpose but it's unfortunate but did anyone really care about Alice uh I didn't so they all leave the house after the aftermath and yeah they ain't too happy about Agatha especially team and Agatha tells team that you are so so much like her mother. Oh, I wonder who she was referencing to. And it gets revealed to us that Teen is with Khan. What? And that he sinks not just Agatha, but everyone else. I ain't gonna lie, you could say this was a missed opportunity to make his eyes go blue like they did with Wanda with Red. Now my overall thoughts in the episode, which first of all, this was the shortest episode in the series, which I don't think was the best, and I also don't think the pacing was best in this show. A lot of things going by pretty quick, but entertaining. Overall episode, not bad. Action okay. Dialogue okay. Visuals okay. I give episode 5 a 6.5 out of 10. You know, things are slowly getting better. What would you rate episode 5 out of 10?